Hello everyone, in this tutorial we're going to be learning how to control Unity 3D with Arduino. So in this particular example we're going to be using a potentiometer attached to the Arduino to rotate a cube inside Unity 3D. So let's get started. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing, uh, let's start with the Arduino schematic. Here we've got the potentiometer. Uh, its leg is connected to A0 pin. And make sure it's connected to A0 pin because it is an analog pin. A digital pin cannot take analog values. So you have to, do to use one of these values, A0, A1, up to A5. And the other two leagues of the uh, potentiometer, one is connected to the ground and the other is connected to the 5 volt. Uh, the second part is in the uh, Arduino sketch. Here is the Arduino sketch. So in the void setup we have, uh, we are creating a, com a communication between the Arduino and the computer in the speed of 9600 bit per second. And in the void loop uh, we are sending a data that we are receiving from the analog A0 to the computer. But before sending it, we are doing something special to it. We are using the map method. Actually, what this method does is that it changes the range of the value. Uh, so instead of... Uh, so for the range, instead of it being from 0 to 2, to 1024 it will be from 0 to 360 and we need it to be to 360 because there are only 360 degrees in a circle so you can read more about this uh, you can read more about this function by highlighting it and go to help and find a reference so you can read more information about it in this page. And uh, then here we are uh, adding a delay of 20 milliseconds. This will help in st stability. Uh, the third part is in the Unity 3D. Uh, here in Unity 3D, uh, let's first demonstrate how this works. I'm going to start the uh, program. And as I rotate, my potentiometer, the cube rotates exactly the same. So I'm rotating my potentiometer and the cube is rotating. So let's see how I built this. First go to edit and uh, project settings and player. And scroll down till you find API compatibility. Make sure it is set to 2.0 and not 2.0 subset. It must be in .NET 2.0 or this won't work. Then create a new box by uh, going by right, uh, go to create and choose cube. I already done that so I'm not going to do it once again. Uh, this, I also added some materials to add some texture so you can I'm gonna leave it in the description so you can do the same and I also added a light uh, here is a directional light you can do that by going to uh, game object uh, a, um, yes game object and create other and directional light. Uh, and then I created a C sharp script called it rotator. You can call it where call it wherever you want. So right click in mouse, go to create and C sharp script. I already done that so I'm not going to do it another time. So open my the script. So here's the script. First thing we need to add this line of code using system.io.ports. This will give us the uh, ability to access the class. Actually, it is a namespace as any other namespace, so it is important. Uh, then we are creating a serial object uh, to access the uh, serial port. 
and uh, we do that by typing serial port serial equals new serial port and this uh, method takes two parameters the first is the uh, port name and the second is the baud rate or the speed you can find the your port name by going to the Arduino IDE go to tools and serial port you'll find it that it is in my case comp6 it will it may be different in yours so put that value in here com6 in my case and the baud rate is 9600 you can also also find it in your sketch here uh, inside the void update I have no void start uh, because I'm not going to need it inside the void update this is the first part the first line of code what actually this does it checks if the serial is not open then it will open it if it is open then there is no need to reopen it once again so if serial is not open so what this mark means it means the opposite so if it is open this is the opposite if it is not open so if the serial is not opened then open it okay so that's what actually what basically that means so then we are creating a variable called it rotation of type integer uh, what uh, this variable be equaling is int dot pairs and a string value what this does is that it's going to convert this value from a string type to an integer type because the value that you're going to read from the serial port is going to be a string but it needs an integer value to use it in the rotation so this will do the job so in dot pairs and string value in our case the serial dot read line and then we've got here the transform dot local Euler angles equals a new vector 3 0 rotation 0 what this basically means that we are going to change the local rotation of the object uh, by what by a new vector and here we said the x uh, x axis rotation uh, y axis rotation uh, and z axis rotation since we are going to rotate only the y axis rotation we leave the uh, others to uh, as zeros and we only put the uh, rotation variable that we have created here inside the y, uh, y parameter so save the code go back to unity t uh, grab that code and drag it uh, on the uh, cube that you have created. I already done that so I'm not going to do it once again so if you go to cube object you, you'll see that there is a rotator script attached to it so if you go to play once again it is working I'm rotating the potentiometer right now and it is rotating So, uh, thanks guys for watching, if you have any question, any suggestion, uh, or if you, if you want any tutorial and any things of any of this, feel free to ask, feel free to, f to leave comments in the uh, comment sections below. Uh, please thumbs up and uh, subscribe, share, that will help me a lot. So thanks you, thank you guys for watching, and uh, and see you later.